Geosig offers a number of solutions for monitoring the health of structures, whether they be bridges, dams, tunnels, special structures, or for critical operations. In this video, we will be focusing on monitoring for buildings. It's a good question. Why do we need to monitor buildings? There can be many different reasons to monitor a building. At the top of the list, we aim to protect lives. Before or as soon as a building is damaged, we want to know about it so we can take actions to protect lives. A building is also a very valuable asset, so it makes sense to protect our assets in the best way we can with the technology that is available to us. In a nutshell, we are reducing risk by detecting early signs of failure. We can reduce the downtime with the information we get from monitoring, and we can make a rapid assessment of the building's health. Such information is valuable. It can help us to understand the condition of the structure, and this can directly lead to a lower cost of ownership, making sure that we don't end up spending for major repairs when there are early signs that can alert us to take action much sooner. It is often the case that a building that has monitoring installed should allow for a reduction on the insurance premium because the insurance company will know if there are any claims after an incident, it would be based on credible information. One typical usage of structural health monitoring of a building is to allow us to assess the structure's safety after a major event, be it an earthquake, explosion, construction nearby, which can potentially damage our asset. We might dig a bit deeper to really understand the benefits of structural monitoring. By definition, a building is a large dynamic structure and what we want to know at any one time is if our structure is reasonably healthy. Sometimes one particular incident may not damage a building, but repeated external forces applied to the building can start deteriorating the health of the building. Structural health monitoring will help us to achieve our objective. Maybe the single most significant question a building owner or manager is faced with is, is my building safe to be reoccupied after an incident? Whether it was an earthquake, explosion, or maybe even a hurricane. Even after an incident, and the results indicated that there may be certain damage to the building, this data would help the surveyor and the time it takes to survey the building by having a report showing what damage the structure has sustained after an event. So that could mean we will mobilize, repair, and perform maintenance activities to specific areas within the building, which can speed up the rehabilitation and usage of the building after an incident. Observing changes in the structure will help us to develop rational maintenance and management strategies for our building. The data available from a monitored building will help us to prioritize the allocation of resources for rehabilitation of a potentially damaged building, albeit an insignificant damage. Consider a situation where you are buying a building where you have no idea what the building has sustained over the years in terms of forces applied to it. You don't know how healthy the building is as there has not been any data showing performance of the building over a period of time. Conversely, if there is a building where there is credible information and data, this gives you peace of mind that this building is standing safe and is within its initial design performance. Let's summarize why SHRM. Broadly speaking, we aim to reduce risk. By monitoring a building, we have data about key factors that could eventually lead to failure of a building. We look at the key factors and evaluate the severity of those to initiate early damage detection and identify factors that could lead to failure. With credible data, decision makers can decide to evacuate or shut down a building due to the data provided by monitoring. Most importantly, it will help save lives as well as protect valuable assets. This can only be achieved with data the management can use to safely evaluate the condition of a structure. It is factual, timely, and reliable, which can reduce assessment times for safety of the structures and their residents.
So let's come to an understanding about what the benefits of a monitored building are. A doctor has a tool, a stethoscope, to get key information from a patient. How is the heart rate? Do the lungs sound clear? Like a doctor with a stethoscope, we use instruments to monitor the patient, our building. We'll instrument accordingly for the building parameters and monitor continuously. If an exceedance of performance parameters is detected, notifications will be issued to responsible people and ultimately, if damage is identified, the building manager can take corrective actions if needed. Basically, in a typical building, what we are doing is measuring the performance of the building and continuously measuring the movement of the building of X and Y direction and its rotational movement. And depending on the number of sensors in the building, we can do this between floors that are instrumented. In this image, we basically are measuring the deflection of the structure in X direction, in Y direction, and in XY torsion or rotation. Let's go back to the health analogy. A doctor might put some sensors on your body to gather specific information that is of importance to him or her to judge what is happening in your body. When we look at instrumentation of a building, typically we will use a central recording system, whereby there will be a device which is connecting up to five sensors, and the data from all those sensors are recorded in the central recording system. As can be seen in this illustration, we can have several of these recorders networked together to create a large mesh of sensors. These are sensing devices. These are what are sensing the changes and movement within the building. Having instrumented our building with the required number of sensors, we can now input the performance parameters for the building in our software package, GeoSmart. Here, as you can see, the data is being fed into the package and the package is continuously monitoring the movement of the building. There is a model of our building and one can display the model as a frame, as a 3D model, and as exceedances happen, you will see the lights which are displayed will change color indicating the level of damage which the building may have sustained. Just to summarize what our package does, the package is designed around formulas which will provide information for planar displacements, planar torsion, interstory drift, frequency parameter. Measuring these sets of information continuously based on the data received from the sensors in the package will provide all the necessary information for us to confidently judge the performance and safety of the building. In this graph is the relative displacement of the stories, as displacement where we have defined three thresholds, threshold A, threshold B, threshold C. We then can look at the lateral deformation from the measurements we are making with the sensor to identify where exceedance in terms of lateral deformation has taken place. We can define various levels, such as level one, within the elastic range where no problems are expected, Level 2, where immediate reoccupancy is possible. A level 3, where the building is expected to be in a state which may not collapse, but also is not recommended to be reoccupied without a thorough damage assessment and repair as needed. A level 4, where it poses significant hazard to life and may collapse, and so on. This graph is an illustration of potential ranges where thresholds can be set and most common performance levels. We acquire near real-time data streams from the sensors. We display the incoming data streams as well as the calculated data streams. We create a 3D model and we have a calculation of rigid body translations and rotations on XY plane. We then calculate and display interstory drift between centroids. Then we do the animation of near real-time motion on the 3D model. We create visual alerts with buttons changing color. 
we continuously save incoming and or calculated data for analysis by a structural engineer if required. In certain cases, we can do certain factory customizations for specific project requirements. Clearly, we provide alerts and notification. State of Health Monitoring Geodas performs permanent monitoring of key parameters and extended checkup of the system. Alarm Function By installing the alarm option, three relays are available to activate, deactivate critical operations or simply provide local sirens if required. Instruct the lift to stop at the next floor and stop the lift from further use. Shut down critical operations such as gas valves, sensitive chemical processes, assembly operations, and sensitive operations. After building owners have established a seismic evacuation and reoccupancy protocol for their building that includes both structural and non-structural criteria, they can utilize essential data from the GeoSmart system. It will provide an insight into whether a damaging threshold was exceeded based on structural data, established with support from local structural engineers, quantitative engineering data, design criteria, structural classification, and risk category of the building. These results reported by the system, combined with inspection of non-structural elements of the building, provide a reliable basis for evacuation or reoccupancy. Based on predefined performance levels in the shown example, a decision matrix and associated action protocols can be established. By default, all recorders on a given network store data locally. The USGS network of NetQuakes, a Geosig product, by default records the data locally and sends data packets as defined by USGS to their servers. The data from the servers is stored locally on the recorder for up to 100 days. Simultaneously, data is also sent to the cloud server. This data center can request data from all the recorders on the network for a specific period of time if needed. In a typical installation where the potential client has a different number of buildings situated at various locations throughout a region, the data from all the sensors are locally stored on the individual recorders, as well as simultaneously being transmitted to a locally installed PC where GeoSmart carries out data analysis. The local PC will also carry out state of health monitoring of the installed instruments and send diagnostic notifications. Additionally, the data can be transmitted to a cloud-based server where individual virtual PCs can receive the data for central viewing and data redundancy. Thank you.